Hello everyone, and welcome to my second Pokemon video. Um, this time we're going to open up the Evolutions packs that I told you guys about last video. If you haven't la uh, watched that video, I'll put an I uh, up in the corner. Um, but yeah, something I've uh, anticipated for a good while now. Um, uh, Evolutions is probably uh, the, my most favorite set that I've ever opened. And we're of course looking for that really expensive Charizard. Sorry for that camera shake. And um, so yeah, if you like the content, of course, the Pokemon content, make sure you uh, like and subscribe. Um, let me know in the comments what kind of stuff you want me to open up. Perhaps in the future, if it goes well, I'll see if I can get some content for you guys. However, in this box right here, we have our pack. So if you didn't see uh, the latest video, we have 10 of them. 10 evolutions packs and they're all random i believe they're from the mewtwo mewtwo evolutions box uh that they released it's been about four years since i opened up some evolutions uh, that's why i have this charizard right here which i did pull and yeah consider me lucky however you know the centering on that one is pretty bad i'm looking forward to uh you know opening some packs but yeah it's gonna be fun hopefully we can get some good stuff can't always you know guarantee the best pulls but i'm hoping for that charizard you can pray for me hopefully we can get it we'll see uh last video though it was kind of scuffed my uh camera uh, or i ran out of storage and it didn't let me film so it was pretty bad hopefully that that does not happen uh and i've tried my best to make sure it does not happen but yeah without further ado um we have seven uh, Charizard arts. We have 10 packs, and seven of them are Charizard. Um, so yeah, but first pack, we'll see what it has. I'm gonna make sure I don't, you know, show anything. Okay, so it's the other way around. My bad. Here's a code card for anyone. All right, get this out of the way. So this is a uh, four-year-old set. So it's uh three from the back no uh no energy card like last video but yeah gonna make sure i have it like um um in order as well so vulpix sand shrew and you know if we do pull the charizard it will definitely automatically make up for uh the packs that i have purchased and oh a pikachu that's cool and yeah i i like the set a lot because it doesn't have all too many cards uh you know the basic reprint but it add the exs and some uh some some of the cards from other sets like the team rockets trainer and whatnot so yeah it's probably that's probably why it's one of my favorite sets reverse holo energy that's sick i really like that fighting energy and our rare is a Beedrill, which I'm not really a fan of. First pack, no luck. Hopefully in this one though. Tell me in the comments if uh, you yourself uh, like, you know, the evolution set or maybe what what's your favorite set? <laughs> what kind of sets you want, you might want me to open up? The pull rates are probably going to be very uh, spread out, and you never know. What might happen because these are loose packs. All right. First card. Trainer. Super potion. Alright. Charmeleon. That's pretty nice. I feel like with the value of um, these uh, these these reprints of the base set in the future, they might have more value or, you know, might have good value. Just like how, um, you know, the base set cards have value now. But um, you know, that's that's just speculation. The prices have uh, staggered for evolutions, and they're uh, dramatically going upwards, or at least they were. Uh, you know, a lot of people getting more into the hobby and stuff kind of sparked that. All right, I don't have this card. A Reverse Hollow Hitmonchan, 
and our rare is Ooh, and a full art dragonite ex i don't have this one i gotta get sleeves oh this is what i'm talking about the full art dragonite ex the cards do have a slight bend bruh they are from boxes and stolen old set i don't even think this is the reprint it might be because i know they reprinted evolutions they aren't doing that anymore which is what i'm talking about the value wait i just gotta see this because if this you know comes out as a psa 10 that is the best quality that will be good value and especially for a dragonite full art wow and i don't see any problems with the card maybe something up there but that slightly that might be the lighting too i see nothing about the edges the centering is the best centering i have ever seen on a card all right i don't believe i um, washed my hands before this i'll be right back so quick break and i gotta wash my hands all right all right i'm back and i have washed my hands so already second pack we got a dragonite full art ex this is probably one of my favorite cards in the set next to uh, the Mewtwo full art. So I'm not even complaining. I think that's pretty valuable too. <laughs> so that's nice. And I think it's uh, the Charizard look that I have in the back there. Anyways, let's go. Third pack in. Hopefully we can get these kinds of pulls every single pack. Here's a code card for anyone that wants it which I think someone's probably going to yoink all of them. Wait, what? Huh. The three cards from the back are suspiciously upside down. Now, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I... <laughs> uh, <laughs> but I think that's... Uh, that happened a lot in the evolutions print where some of the cards were upside down the code card was a little weird oh okay well uh, upside down brock script no just brock yeah brock script uh, i think i have the full art version of him too professors uh, professor oak upside down metapod very cool very cool wait what so the fourth card is also <laughs> Upside down Tangela. All right, so all of them are upside down. Or no. Wait. Hmm. Fire energy. Is this a sign? Is this a sign? Wow, honestly, I have a good feeling, actually. I, have, I do have a good feeling uh, about these packs. Ooh, a Charmander. Wow, okay, I love that. We have a Charmander and a... A Charmeleon already. That's very nice. Uh, holographic, a reverse holo to do. You can even see yourself in the reflection there. And for our rare, oh, and a Mega Charizard EX. But I already have this. <laughs> I already have it right there. Wow. All right. I would have wished we pulled the full art version of that. That would have been nice because I already have it. However, I'm not complaining. Already, two out of three pulls. I mean, hits. That's that's awesome. Wow, that definitely goes for a good title. We have uh, seven packs left. All right, it's gonna be another Charizard art. I think it's something with the something to do with the Charizard arts. It has to be. It has to be. All right. Now we just gotta get the, the full art, Mega Charizard, and the holographic version would make for a very nice opening. The perfect opening, if you will. Here's the code card. Whoa, is that like gray? Good point. Okay, three from the back. The cards aren't upside down, from what I can see. All right, first card, trainer. A Machoke, a Potion, Polywag, nice, 
leaf energy. A ratata. Vulpix. Electabuzz. And. Ooh, a reverse hollow Charmander. Oh, and I think there's something behind it. For our rare, we have a. Ooh, and a Mewtwo EX. Very nice. Yeah, definitely one of the best pack, probably the best pack opening I've, I've ever had. This is our, this is only our second, you know, Pokemon video. Let's keep going. Blastoise art. This is our first um, uh, different art. So hopefully he can bring us the luck. All right, go card. And then three from the back. A, we have a Porygon. And um, I'm really looking forward because I, to like opening more stuff if it does well on the channel. Um, if I ever get a hold of any Pokemon cards, of course, I'll probably make sure I film that. But yeah. All right, and fire energy. We have a Voltorb. Very nice. No, not really. I don't like it. Oh. And another Charmander. We've had a good amount of Charmanders. Three already. One of them being a Reverse Hollow. And I think they, they do have some value too. So I'm not complaining. We have a Ghastly. And a Reverse Hollow. Mm, Electopus. Oh. <laughs> Well, you already saw the back card for our rare, wow. A hollow Mew. Actually, I think this is pretty sought after because it's really hard to get in a PSA 10. Uh, I don't see any hollow scratches or any print lines. Um, the centering from top to bottom is off. It's uh, pretty similar to the Charizard back there, but not as bad. It's definitely a solid nine, so. Yeah, three more Charizard arts. A Venusaur and a Raich Raichu. All right, let's keep going. The pull rates so far have been actual odd-like pulls. So let's keep going. Yeah, cool card. Three from the back. Let's see what we have. And, you know, judging from the quality, since this is a four year old set, pretty good. All right. Trainer. Machoke. Another trainer. Lots of trainers in this set. We haven't gotten a secret rare, secret rare yet. Um, I really want the Flying Pikachu, because that's a card I do not have yet. And that would really, you know, seal the collection for me, because who wouldn't want a full set of um, evolutions? Magikarp, Electabuzz, Rattata, a Reverse Hollow, um, a Reverse Hollow Starmie, and a rare is a Starmie. <laughs> All right, who would have thought? Um, our first pack that isn't a hollow, or I mean our second one actually, but yeah. So, um, rare Starmie. Hopefully this uh, this pack's blessed. I'm just gonna stroke it, not seductively, but just for good measure. What I noticed with, uh, like, the, you know, the, the, the pack uh, um, wrapping and all that, the quality, overall quality, uh, you know, with this and uh, 
Champion's Path is that Champion's Path packs are a little harder to open. These are pretty, e you know, pretty easy. But over the years, I, I think they they've changed the way that they uh, manufacture their packs. Uh, just watching a YouTube video and uh, someone open up packs, it's very different from you know actually opening them up yourself. Like an elite trainer box, for example, it looks bigger on 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 film, or I mean uh, in a video, but in real life, it's like very different. And we have a fighting. Typhonix, a Nidoran, Poliwag, honestly I can't complain, like, these arts, even though they're um, just a reprint of base set, uh, of course when you, if you don't have the money uh, buying, you know, a $500 base set unlimited pack yourself, just getting evolution still kind of gives you that nostalgia, if that's what you're looking for. Cause not everyone is like a millionaire. <laughs> Alright, Leaf Energy. You Rattata. And our Reverse Hollow is a Magnemite that's really horrible on the centering. I mean, look at the top to bottom, like the the yellow and the the right to left. That's that's garbage. <laughs> Alright. So, for our rare, we have a Electrode. I really thought there was going to be something good there. I thought I felt something, but no, it's just Electrode trying to troll me. Three more packs. Let's pull that holographic Charizard. Come on. Got this. Let me go from the bottom. One luck. Fire energy. I mean, this, this has to be a sign. Mm. Card three, our first card is a Poliwhirl. Um, <laughs> I thought that was a rare for some reason. All right, Pokedex Trainer, Trainer Potion, uh, Energy. Voltorb. Ooh, and our third um, common, just Charmander. Nice. Love me some Charmanders. Diglett. A Ghastly. Reverse Hollow Energy. Honestly, I like I like the way they look. Really nice. Looks like it has some print lines. But the Hollow Energy cards, I think they're pretty valuable too. All right, and for our rare, we have a Mewtwo. Okay, so um, really off-centered Mewtwo, non-Hollow. They, for some reason, you know, they didn't make it a Hollow in this set, which I would have preferred. All right, All right, you bless us. We have a Charizard for the last pack, but I know you have good pull rates. Inside this pack, there will be a Charizard, I'm telling you. No, I'm not going to say that. I'm not desperate, I'm just excited. Pump card. Three from the back. And we have a... Ooh, double color, color, colorless energy. I don't know why I messed up on that. Pretty easy to say. A super potion. Ooh, Charmeleon. Very nice. Electabuzz. Vulpix. We have a Sandshrew. Onyx. Magikarp. Gonna love me some Magikarps. Ooh, nice. Reverse Hollow Machamp, and our rare is... <gasps> no! Oh, I thought it was the... <sighs> the full art Charizard. No, it's a Mega Slowbro EX. And I don't think I have this one. However, it's a... Uh... 
not really the best card. In our nine packs, we've had five pulls. I'm not complaining. That is great. However, we're looking for that Charizard. Please spin this back pack. Hopefully, we can get blessed. Get us some uh, some holographic Charizards. I'd honestly be happy with the reverse holo foil too, because I don't have that one. But for the grand reveal, that nice pack pill, I really messed it up, didn't I? Right? That was a struggle when it shouldn't have been one. Um, but yeah, here's the cool card. Three from the back. have a energy retrieval need a reno growlith pretty nice onyx nidoran we have a Poliwag, Reverse Holo Revive, and for our rare, we have a, uh, a Beedrill, always, of course, really want to rip you, but thank you guys for watching again, this was uh, probably one of the best openings I've had ever, and you know what, let's just do a recap, all right. So I kind of ranked the my favorite pulls from uh, this uh, this pack opening. But yeah, for uh, the best pulls, our ultra rares, that is, uh, we got a Mega Slowbro EX, a Mew Holographic, um, very nice. Our only holo that we got, a Mewtwo, EX, very nice, don't have that one. Of course, uh, the second pack that we pull, the Dragonite EX Full Art, and we pulled the Mega Charizard EX, definitely worth the value uh, from these 10 packs. All right, so thank you guys for watching. If you want more content, make sure you like the video. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in uh, the next video.